Welcome, dancers. I'm back, y'all, with another video. So this is going to be for July 1st through the 15th. All right, so if this message resonates with you, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe, all right? Give me a message for cancers, please. All right. So, cancers. You could be dealing with someone... Somebody messed, somebody knows that they messed things up with you. Maybe you could have been dealing with this person for a long time. Like you and this person have been around each other, dealing with each other for a long time. I'm hearing like even high school sweethearts or just like for a long time. I feel like someone walked away from, from you or you them. But the thing about it is, is I feel like this person screwed things up on purpose. And it's like, it's not that easy to get you back this time. It's not that easy. I feel you leaving me behind. I know exactly what I was doing. We will be together again. Like, they feel like at a later date, you and them will be back together. But I feel like they sabotaged something on purpose. And and now it's like they, they feel you leaving them behind. Like, they feel like, oh, shit, cancer's serious this time. Cancer is more serious this time. You speak to me through music. So they sitting there listening to songs. Listening to songs and reminiscing about you, thinking about you. But they're the ones who I feel like sabotage the connection. This person could be hiding behind material things. They could be really shallow. But they like to hide behind material things. This person knows that they owe you an apology. <laughs> will you accept them as they are or would you accept this apology? If they were to apologize to you. This person. <laughs> we got obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. They, this person is constantly thinking about you. Constantly thinking about you. Because you decided to put yourself first. It's like you've gone through some type of awakening. Um, you're putting yourself first. They may be seeing you on the internet or hearing about you like... You're happy. You're taking time off to enjoy yourself. Like, I, I just feel like they know that they messed things up. They know they messed everything up. This person knows that they messed everything up. Mm, 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 mm. What does this person want to say to my cancer? I'm ignoring other people. My head isn't clear enough to make a decision. I just flew out of here. You're too good for me. I don't deserve you. They're saying that we are on hold. 
but I'm coming back for you. <laughs> and then that person is at a crossroad. They're choosing which path to take. They're putting they're putting the situation on hold for now. Cause they need to clear their head to make a decision. And they're feeling like you're too good for them. So I feel like they sabotaged this connection. I just keep getting like they sabotaged it on purpose. That's just what I keep hearing. Like they knew exactly what they were doing. Tell me more about Cancer's person. Hmm. This person This person for a lot of you this is a masculine energy of course for sure um I'm getting there's a closing of a chapter here. But this person appreciates. They like I feel like maybe you did, you do a lot for this person or you you supported this person in some way shape or form. But this person definitely uh needs to clear their head. Somebody is dealing with some anxiety. Maybe this person has anxiety issues. Um I'm getting self sabotage energy. They're stalking you. They're looking at your pictures. And they're sad. I feel like there's an attachment. Like this person, maybe there's some unhealthy attachments that this person has with you. Okay. And I do get like this. This, this person could have anxiety. Like they get nervous. And then they make impulsive decisions. I'm getting that they want to link up with you and um, they want to link up with you and have some type of celebration with you, come together, coming together with you. But I do, I feel like they, um, I'm getting depressive energy and they want to do this because they're bored, like something to do when they're bored. Like the hell? No, <laughs> like, no, mm -mm. Let this person clear their own head and clear their own issues. Because this person has some issues that they need to work on. You don't need them bringing that type of energy towards you. I'm getting like real anxiety issues. Like somebody who is like, is self-sabotaging. This person self-sabotages things. Things could be going really good and they'll just find a way to fuck it up. Okay, tell me more about Cancer, Cancer's energy for July the 1st through the 15th. Tell me more what's going on for Cancer. Ace of Cups. Some of you got a new beginning. A new offer, a new beginning in love. Three of Wands. Some of y'all turned it back. You're back on a connection. You got something new going on. And you're celebrating. You took a leap of faith. There's this new beginning. You got a new offer. A new beginning. You turned your back on this past situation. Okay? You could have been getting a lot of recognition. A lot of attention. But here's this person. I feel like this person is coming back. To be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I feel like you have some type of accomplishment. Maybe you're working on something, building something new. I'm getting a lot of recognition, though. Here's this person that come with this offer, but they're moving in slow. Like, like this, they, I'm getting like, 
It could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. But they want something solid with you. But it just takes so damn long for them to give you this offer. But, like, they're very inconsistent. Like, they're in and out. And, and it's like a no for you. Um, that could give somebody anxiety. <laughs> the inconsistency of this person. And your hopes and fears, we got the seven of cups. Your outcome, we got the queen of pentacles. Your focus, your stable. And I feel like this person that you're dealing with is too inconsistent. Why is the three of cups here? The king of swords. Could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like for the life of you, you can't. You, 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 I just feel like <sighs> dealing with this person is too uncertain. Okay. Maybe you end up with regrets. I feel like you care about this person, but you end up regretting your decisions when you deal with this person. I do feel like you desire this person. You may want this person, but there's always like this tower moment dealing with this person. It's really sporadic. It's really like you don't know what's coming with this person. Maybe you've embodied this King of Swords energy to where you're kind of like very cutthroat, very blunt with this person. We have to start. It could be an Aquarius. But I told you, this person from the past, they're becoming back. They're coming back. There may be some um, something hidden. Dealing with this person. Maybe this is supposed to be kept a secret. Maybe you and this person's connection is a secret. Or they come back with secrets. Some of you are definitely like taking a break. Um... Are on a break period, for sure, for sure, with dealing with this person. You want something new. You want some new, fresh energy. I tell you, this person keeps coming back. But this person keeps coming back because the door is always cracked open. All right? Three of Swords. And the Sun and the Ace of Swords. Okay. Maybe you find out a truth. Something is being illuminated. Possibly about a third party. Maybe you find out that this person has you in a third party. We got the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Somebody has to be cut out of this third party situation. Yeah. You cut this person off and you took a leap of faith possibly with the Leo. You closed this chapter. You closed this chapter with this past person and you're moving forward. Like, I feel like you gave this person, like, a lot of affection, a lot of care, a lot of love. And then it's like, I can't deal with you anymore. You're toxic and you play too many mind games. Could be a Sagittarius. Okay? But I'm getting a lot of spying going on. I feel like with this sun card... You're spying on this person to, like, see what they got going on. But it's like you, you're doing it at a distance. You have success going on here um, in the past. Possibly with the Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or you're just celebrating. Like, you, I feel like for a lot of you, your financial situation is on the up and up. Um... But there is a tower moment that hit here in the past. Something that you may have found out. Maybe you've isolated yourself. Okay. Yeah, there was some type of ending. You you cut this person off from the past. Okay. You don't see yourself with this person. But here they come. Coming back for another chance. <laughs>
Some of you are actually considering taking this person back. They come back with the offer. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. They come back with the offer, promising a promising offer. Okay. They're saying that, hey, I know I've been too, I know I've been all over the place lately. I know I've been, I've been all over the place. But look, I'm, I'm better now. I balance myself out, um, you know, in a better place mentally. I feel like this person is toxic. And they are possibly trying to cut out some of their ways. I'm getting they got some toxic ways, okay? But you got a choice, okay? You don't want to regret this decision. You do got a choice, for sure. I feel like you're going to keep it in mind. Right now, I feel like you're focused on your pentacle. You're focused on your your stability. You're going to keep this in mind, okay? Your intuition is telling you that this person is in some trouble, okay? Or they could be having some financial troubles. I feel like you're going to keep it in mind, okay? Like, it's like, a, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it, okay? I'll think about it. We'll see. Um, you may have a new offer in front of you. That looks a lot better than that offer from your past person. But the past is returning. They're returning. All right. So if this message resonates with you guys, be sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Comment below in the comment section as well, guys, if you're interested in booking a personal. Be sure to hit me up. My contact info is in the drop box below as well, guys. Um, you can check out my website, guys, 20% off your entire order today using sale code SALE20 at checkout. All right, that information is in the drop box below, guys. Until next time, I'm going to chat with you later. Ciao for now.